Hello everybody and welcome back to Doom 64. We are now onto the secret level. And this is kind of a tough secret map. I love the look of this level. There's some really awesome stuff we can get on this map. We get to meet a couple of enemies early. Get a couple of weapons early. So let's see how this goes. Okay, first enemies you get to see early is in this room. Right, kill this guy and then run across. <laughs> He's going for a ride. It's a Mancubus. Or Mancubi in this case. I think if you stand too close when you're shooting these Mancubi, if I was like standing here, they, your splash damage does actually hit you, so you have to make sure you kill the Mancubus on the opposite side. I mean, you could just use like, the stupid shotgun, but it takes a lot longer and it's actually pretty difficult. There's like a key or something in here. I can't even remember what it does, <laughs> which is a good sign. Right, pain elementals. Of course, they spit two lost souls. So, big note. Army of imps just woke up or spawned in. I can't remember how you get to that. So, th there are secrets in this that I genuinely cannot remember how you do or reach them. And this is one of the levels I don't actually remember much about. I've, I've got a, a reasonable idea. Wait, I was as simple as that. I've got a reasonable idea how you get to the demon key on this map. What's that do? Oh, okay. Nothing remember that counts as a secret, so let's just move on to the switch here. Right, that's the blue door, which we can't go in yet. New imp army. Nice. Right, moving back on. The amount of effect sign, so we know it's getting close. This is the bit where I'm going to struggle because I'm trying to remember where everything is. Okay, I'm sure you can press like a sign like that and it releases like that soul sphere. Okay, let's change. I'm hoping it's not specific order you have to do this bit in, which I've got a feeling there is. if we press that and then like, jump down okay right we've got that let's kill that imp right <laughs> where next not this way not yet there's a way we can raise that platform I think I have no idea how Okay, okay, I've got this. Yep, there's the artifact key. I know where I'm going. Grab this because obviously important stuff. We can't progress without the other key. Alright, I think it's down here. Nope, I'm just jumping down to exactly where I was a minute ago. Right, you jump here, and then you jump down here, and then we got sort of straight away across like this. Hell Knight. Now it's starting to look familiar. Right now we have to also run across here, press the switch and run back to here, press this, we've made a platform across. Okay, now we can run across here, fall, okay hopefully we still get to that area. Because I know this room does sort of change shape a couple of times. Okay, we're good. Press this wall here. 
on Maker. Nice. So we have the Unmaker now, which we don't get for a little bit if he's getting it through the normal way of the level. Okay, I think what we have to do is actually do this bit again. I think. I think you have to shoot that again. And that should lower this down. Look at that, we did it. So it actually took me ages to realise there's an Unmaker on this level. I thought there's an upgrade you get before you get the Unmaker, but now what it does, we obviously you can now shoot two laser beams instead of one. And if you get all three of them, it just makes this weapon unstoppable. Actually, it still shoots one laser beam at first, but you get a second upgrade, I think it takes it to two laser beams. I completely lost where I've got to go. Alright, it's down here. Alright, <laughs> okay, here we go again. Oh no, we can, if we stand in this corner, he can't, the splash damage doesn't hit us. Alright, let's save some of our rockets. Hello F1. Ow, he still hit me. Is there like a switch in one of these? Is that the yellow switch? So we get to meet pretty much all the enemies in early through super maps. The secret levels in this game are not just for fun, they actually do have a purpose. Okay, we can't press that yet, I think. I'm sure we can press that, it's like an ammo closet thing or something. Where is it? Um. These are more obviously of the problem. So we've got three pain mentors here and a lost soul. And a, and a cacodemon as well. Oh, double kill. I oh, I did mention lost soul and pain mentors, they are much more threatening in this game, not only because they spit two lost souls, but they have explosion damage as well, so you can't run it up in their face. I need to open at some point. And that's the one here. And it's that level done. Hopefully it's 100 percent secrets. So I'm not really that familiar with this level. Oh, I missed a secret, damn. One secret. Can't think what it is, but that's okay. So um Well then. Now we can move on to map five. Interesting map this one. Not one of my favourites, but it's still an enjoyable one. So I just love this game anyways. There's no levels I dislike in this game. Not a single map. Even the kind of jokey challenge level Hectic is okay in his own ways, because it's not in the main series. It's like a bonus hidden level for the people that want to find it. Okay, we're good. I'm coming and grab some goodies. This is actually quite difficult to do on a controller, which is funny, because this game was intended to be playing on a controller. Ah, wow. oh, they both shot me. There's plenty of uh, mega armor and um, soul spheres in this game, though, so we're good. And mega spheres, they're in this game as well, but not as popular as the soul spheres are, especially in these early maps. I think nearly every level has a hidden soul sphere somewhere in it. Okay, 
Okay, where are we going? So there's the mega armor, which I think you literally get by pressing this. We do. Do we want to grab that then? But oh well. I don't think we're going to die. So the level starts kind of creepy now, but when we get to the later levels, it gets even more dark. I'm like exploring these temples, like these caverns as well. And the last couple of levels are on a completely different sort of style. And even more horror. I keep missing this guy. What? I got stuck on a wall. That's great when you're fighting a hell knight. I've, I've never been here yet. You see these enemies keep opening that room up. The chain gun is much more powerful in this game. It shoots much faster. Every weapon sort of had an upgrade. All the enemies have an upgrade as well, so it's only fair. And the ones that haven't had the upgrade, like the Hell Knight, are just much more common. key here somewhere I think right actually it might lead to switch that leads to the key should open up is it this room yep again a little bit low on ammo now for the shotgun Okay, this room. Yep. Here's our secret for the level. That already come down. Okay. That's not the way I remember how you do it. You have to press this switch here, shoot here. This raises, shoot there, and then go down like this. Maybe there's a couple of ways to get to that. That's the way I remember the most. Okay, we grab the red key later. Because now we're going in here. So we're going in this little kind of maze like area. I know there's like a berserk here, but I can't remember if it's a secret or not. Oh, never mind. It's not a secret. Yes! You saved me there, shotgun guy. This way. Ow. I think this is the way you have to go because it's like a switch. But we need to press another switch to open it. We're really starting to get into the part of the game where the hell that's become a lot more common. Yeah, so that should open up this with a lost soul. And that opens up the room is just near. Crush a room. <laughs> Try to get the shotgun guy crushed, get myself crushed. They put a little bit of a nasty trap here in this upcoming bit. Open this up. Hell Knight in face. Let's see if he can crush himself. Did he walk into here? Maybe not. Wow, that's not the gun I thought I had. That could have been a lot more deadly. Right, you crushed him there. That, whoa, hello. Okay, that opened up. The red key. Let's 
to. We're on map 5, I think it is now. But we only have like two or three levels after, or three levels after this left of the tech bases. And then we're moving on to Hell. Like I said in the last episode, Hell is my favorite place to explore in a Doom game, but at the same time, this, um, I would love to see more of this tech base area. Even in like I said, the lost levels, there was just one tech base map there, the rest was set in hell. Okay, perfect. Is there a secret in this room? Yes, there is. Were supposed to be enemies in here? I can't even remember. Wow. Really? <laughs> Walk straight into it. Maybe that's not how you do it. I think it's a switch. Here we go. So that makes it teleporter, okay. Another hell nut. Now a hell nut spawns in here, but I'm not sure how he spawns in. Is it when you kill the cacos? Must be when you grab. Okay, it's when you grab the uh, ammo. I was never sure if it's when you kill the cacos or if you grab the um, rocket launcher, but now I know. Okay, right, we'll lower down the place for the exit. In a typical Doom 64 manner, it's guided by Hellrass. Wow, my shotgun ammo is dangerously low. Oh well, we we survive. Next level complete. Okay, this is when the game starts to get even tougher. You get to see another enemy on this level. Step one, kill Kakos. This is actually the first level you see two new enemies. There's one there, there's the Baron. This game, he's more. You can recognise him better in this game than you could do in the regular games. Because it, it had a bit more change to him. I mean, any of any other games, they're still pretty obvious which one's a Hellknight and which one's a Baron, because obviously they're different skins. The Baron's more red. But in this game, he obviously is darker in this game as well, but he also has um, different fireballs, unlike the other game. Take out the army of zombies. Now, I'm pretty sure there's a secret here that helps us get to a megasphere, but I can't remember how you do it. Important we grab the yellow key. Oh, as simple as that. It just opens like that. Hello everyone. We'll gather down here. Okay, so we're coming in from a different angle here. This might make us there a bit tougher because there's already enemies here. But once you're down here, more enemies spawn in, like another Hell Knight army. Yeah, they're all gathering there. And 
we're already back to full armor. I mean, full ammo. We've nearly got full everything. Well, apart from cells and rockets, but you really wouldn't expect that at this point. And I've been using quite a lot of them. But I do think you can actually get full, full rockets by about now. Anyway, this way now. Okay, so that does that. If you, yeah, um, when that doesn't work properly, this room opens up over here. If you're running one, what? Okay, for some reason that didn't count as me hitting that. So you have to run, press this switch. Oh wait, you have to wait, and then you have to run and press this switch. I think if you wait here, you might be able to save this. There we go. Damn it, that did hit me. <laughs> I thought I was going to. Kind of hoped it wouldn't, though. Hello, this is a nightmare for life. And I got stuck. So I took a bearing fireball to the face. Kill them guys in a minute. You get up there, but this is just climbing on here. We can't do nothing with these yet. This will be the first area you meet the pain in the mental in this next bit. Here, are loads of spectres waking up. Well, I just love this bit. It's like all light at the top. You can see it sort of getting darker into the abyss. I'm gonna kill the barons now. They're gonna be a pain later. He's still alive. Damn it. No. No. This is the worst outcome that could have possibly happened. We've got a pain mental above us. But here he is. Ah. We saved it. Can you work, please? Thank you. They're spawning either side, you fall down. It's pretty hard to see stuff down here. I think that's everybody. The stairs are really hard to see in here as well. Can't remember how we get in there. I actually cannot remember how I get in there. So these raise up as you're coming across. Maybe that does it. No, it doesn't. I can't remember if you can actually jump in there. I feel like that should be possible, but I'm not sure. And I can't remember if there's a... I can't think of any other way of getting in here. Oh, here we go. Okay, that is how we do it. Is it a time door? 
okay. Right, don't fall in, don't fall in. Hello everybody. Okay, I remember what that switch does. Oh, okay. Everything's timed here. That switch that we just pressed will open up this. And the blue keycard, which will be opened up by the other switch we pressed. They don't mess around with the Baron. As soon as we see him, there's hundreds on this level. Level 6 done. Research lab is up next. Let's complete research lab. I think we have plenty of time. Our tech based maps are running very short now. Oh, there's still someone alive. Nice trap in this level. Get out of here. Well, and a spectre. We'll grab that later. Secret way into this next room. Oh, we get the plasma gun on this level. Very weird soundtrack. I love it. I mean, I do love this soundtrack. I don't love it as much as PlayStation 1 Doom's version, but I still feel this is really awesome. Right, this switch will help us get the Mega Arm, which I'm just going to grab now. Like every other level, there's a hidden Mega Armor and a hidden Soul Sphere on this map. Excuse me, please. There's a few rooms in here that we've not been in yet. about these last little areas. This bit's kind of a maze, but it's a pretty easy one to navigate through. And I think I've already done what I need to do in this room, which was press that switch. Well, there's something in here that you need to press. I'm not sure exactly what it is in here, but it activates the platform across over here. Be even easy to get the final as you don't jump across quick, just stand here. This is a lot in front of us, but if you step back you won't be able to grab this, so this is a one time thing to grab. See, because this doesn't raise anymore. Here's our plasma gun. Guided by of course Hell Knights. Hell Knights are the only tough enemies you see on this level. That was 100% the wrong gun. The Spectre's in here.
Ooh, that opens up as well. I always forget about that. I spent ages trying to think what this actually is. I thought it was a switch, but it turns out that's supposed to be a camera. And there's a secret here. Coming in from a different side. We do need to teleport here. Hidden switch behind us. And there we go, we get to see that was a... Um, it's actually a camera, not a switch. So we're going to spend ages on my first playthrough trying to find something that would activate that or find some way of reaching it. But, no. There you go, yellow key. Just a couple of imps. Now we can head this way. Doing it again, shopping a couple of goodies, even some cells this time. Okay, that opens up. We can't actually get what's up here yet. We need to go and press the switch, which is down in the toxic area. This is one of very few areas in the game you actually give it a radiation suit. Here it is. Because the radiation works a little different in Doom 64. It hurts you straight away as soon as you step in it. Or more or less straight away. Really? That switch open up this side. Press the switch and bam. The soul, the soul, the soul. My, my suit is not running now, it's literally where the uh, enemies hit you, they seem to remove the suit for a while, I don't know why. Or at least the green effect of the suit. And let's load down them gates which, which are near the exit area, which is up here. And we're back in this room again. Which of course is actually the start room, I love us going in here. Oh god, I didn't even notice how low my ammo was again. Now press that and we'll raise the bridge so we get to the exit. Guarded by another Hell Knight. And that's that level done. No big guys in this level except for Hell Knights the whole way through. I think this level is actually easier than level before. It's a bit longer but it's easier. And I forgot some areas, again, somehow, one that I can't remember where. Maybe in the sort of maze part at the end. Anyway, next we'll be taking in the final outpost. Which I'll save for the next episode, because that's why we get straight into hell afterwards. But until then, this is Rockhard Game 45, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.